Varanasi, India. Stretching along the sacred Ganges, it is Hinduism's holiest city. Millions of pilgrims come to bathe in the purifying waters. But others come for a far different purpose. They come here to burn the dead, out in the open, in public. Fien Thayal has a job that many might find appalling. Fien belongs to a unique Indian caste or community known as the domes. It is the traditional role of the domes to cremate the Hindu dead. Members of Thien's family have been burning corpses for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. For devout Hindus, touching a corpse is highly taboo. It is a ritually polluting act. Those who work with the dead are considered unclean and therefore untouchable. They are outcasts, but the domes also play a pivotal role in the Hindu approach to death which is based on the idea of reincarnation. Hindus believe every human soul passes through many lives. The ultimate goal is to unite with the Supreme Being. But until they are worthy, they continue to be reborn. The holy city of Varanasi provides a kind of spiritual shortcut. Hindus believe that if they die here and their ashes are scattered in the Ganges, their souls are liberated from the cycle. The domes work as a team. While some build pyres and oversee cremation, others scavenge among the ashes and coals. Whatever touches the dead is theirs to keep. The body we have to burn usually has gold and jewelry on it. We sift and take it. The women have nose rings, the men have chains and finger rings. We take the gold and silver off the body. The bodies continue to burn all through the night. Spending the night with the dead might seem like a frightening task. We get habituated to it and don't get scared. Whether we are here or on the other side of the river, we can stay alone in the cremation grounds and we don't get scared. The fires continue into morning as more bodies are brought down to the river. Fien takes up his post again and immediately begins building a funeral pyre. His first customers have arrived. The family of the deceased gathers around as Thien works. It is the traditional role of the firstborn son to set fire to the body. But first he must shave his head and dress in white robes. Thien leads this firstborn son to the sacred flame and then leads the man through the puncha kurma, the ritual of circling the body five times. They set fire to the corpse. Burning bodies is Thien's only means of survival. He lives a Hindu paradox. The only way for him to escape the death industry is to die and to be reborn into a higher caste. For now, the fires will continue to burn. And in the city of death, life goes on. <laughs>